At this moment in time, we're the best team in the world, so... From assisting in Champions League glory to scoring just one goal and making only one assist all season across all competitions, Mason Mount seems to have fallen into a black hole since joining Manchester United. So, what the hell really happened to Mason Mount at United? It's easy to forget, but back in 2021, Mount was a starter for the Champions League winners and the semi-finalists of that summer's European Championship. Following the campaign, he dropped a 10-goal, 10-assist season at just age 22. If you wanted a little more control over the game, you could play him as a winger. Want to open it up? Drop him back into the midfield. It looked like he'd be a Premier League star for another decade. And then last season happened. He scored three goals and assisted just two. Really struggling in a Chelsea team, but almost everyone else struggled too. With Chelsea's new owners looking to fully implement their new team building model and Mount entering the last year of his deal, he seemed like a potential bargain signing. Shouldn't cost much because his club needed to move him on. He'd had a bad year and he'd just be buying out the final year of his contract. Instead, United made him the 8th most expensive signing in the league last summer. Mason Mount was one of the first names on both the Chelsea and England team sheet. It's fair to say the midfielder has had quite a few productive years. He's won the Champions League and was named in the Champions League team of the season, as well as being arguably Thomas Tuchel's best player in his first year at the club. Mason Mount was always destined for big things. He joined Chelsea at just six years old, and you could tell from the start he had something special. Fast forward to his teenage years, and he was catching everyone's eye with his skill on the pitch. But here's where it gets interesting. Despite being surrounded by loads of talented players at Chelsea, Mount's playing time started to dwindle. His family even suggested he should leave the club, especially with offers coming in from other top Premier League teams. But you know what? Mason Mount decided to stay. He had this dream of becoming a Chelsea legend, and he wasn't about to give up on it. He even scored 10 goals in one season for Chelsea's under-18 team, winning the Academy Player of the Year award. Then came the loan spell at Vitesse, Chelsea's feeder club in the Netherlands. A lot of fans were skeptical. Usually, when Chelsea loans someone out, they rarely come back to play in the first team. It could have been a setback, but Mount took it in his stride. He joined Vitesse alongside his friends and kept pushing forward. After shining at Vitesse, where he was named Player of the Year, Mount joined Frank Lampard's derby on loan, and he made an immediate impact, scoring on his debut and quickly becoming a key player. Despite his impressive loan spell, Mount still had to wait for his chance at Chelsea. Even after a strong season with Derby, he wasn't initially given a squad number. But Lampard, who had seen his potential firsthand, brought him back into the fold for Chelsea's pre-season. Mount's perseverance paid off. He eventually earned his place in the Chelsea first-team squad and made his mark, wearing the number 19 jersey he had worn at Vitesse. Under Lampard's management, he flourished, becoming a favourite in midfield. Mount continued to shine. He became a regular in both Chelsea's lineup and the England national team, even starting in the Euro 2020 final. Although England fell short in the final game against Italy, Mount's performance showcased his maturity and talent on the big stage. In the 2020-21 season, he was all over the place for Chelsea, scoring goals left and right. He even bagged his first European goal against Porto, making history as Chelsea's youngest scorer in the Champions League knockout stage. Then, in the 2021-22 season, Mount was on fire. Patrick Hero against Norwich City, scoring goals in four straight Premier League games and reaching his 100th appearance in style. He was literally setting records left, right and centre. But hey, it wasn't always smooth sailing. The next season, under new management, Mount had some ups and downs. Injury setbacks, a bit of a form slump, you name it. And after 18 years at Chelsea, Mount made a tough call to leave in 2023. And since then, Mason Mount's £60 million move from Chelsea to Manchester United has turned into a nightmare. Internally at Manchester United, there was a palpable now or never urgency surrounding Mason Mount's acquisition, especially as he approached the final year of his contract at Chelsea. The club feared losing out on the 25-year-old midfielder if he chose to renew his deal at Stamford Bridge or opt for offers from rival clubs like Liverpool and Arsenal. 
Reports even suggested that negotiations with Arsenal had progressed so far that Mikel Arteta had privately indicated the transfer was practically a done deal. However, in the end, United successfully secured Mount's signature, sealing a substantial five-year contract worth £250,000 a week with an option for an additional year. His arrival was marked by the prestigious number 7 shirt, symbolising high expectations for his impact at Old Trafford. Despite the optimism, criticisms have surfaced. According to the Manchester Evening News, there have been internal murmurs questioning the motives behind Mount's move to United, hinting that it may not have been solely driven by footballing reasons. This perception has led to scrutiny and online mockery, exacerbated by Mount's struggles with injuries and the controversial circumstances of his departure from Chelsea. Upon moving north, Mount openly acknowledged the emotional difficulty of leaving Chelsea, the club where he had spent 18 formative years after joining at the age of six. As a boyhood Portsmouth fan, his departure from Stamford Bridge was understandably poignant for the midfielder. Reports from United staff highlighted Mount's sensitivity regarding his exit from Chelsea, noting his avoidance of media appearances outside of the club's official channels since joining the Red Devils. His absence from United's 2-1 victory over Chelsea in December, due to injury, was marked by harsh chants from some visiting Blues supporters, reflecting their discontent with his departure. He has been blighted by injuries and painted as a mercenary by some Chelsea fans for the cloud in which he left under. Mount has yet to undertake media duties at Man United outside of in-house club channels, and it has been suggested that this is down to his reticence to discuss his Blues exit. When Mason Mount signed, the first thing he talked about was his experience of winning trophies and his desire to do that with his new club, who did win their first piece of silverware in six years by lifting the Carabao Cup. But Mount has gone backwards. He has been the club's most disappointing signing of the summer, having just one goal and zero assists in the Prem to show for his £60 million transfer fee. Mount's best performances came when he filled the number 10 slot for Chelsea, leading their press and enjoying freedom on the ball. However, at Manchester United, Bruno Fernandes occupies a similar role, complicating Ten Hag's efforts to integrate both players effectively into his system. Ten Hag's decision to pursue Mount followed the midfielder's challenging season at Chelsea, where he struggled for form. Unfortunately, Mount has not found his footing at United either. Hindered by fitness issues, he has made just 14 Premier League appearances, during which his impact has been minimal. Mount suffered injury issues last season, causing him to miss a staggering 27 games that season, sidelined for a total of 110 days from November to March. But even when he was fit, he failed to make a positive impact on the team's results. At Manchester United, finding a defined role has been a challenge. Bruno Fernandes firmly occupies the number 10 position, while Kobe Mainu's role is indispensable, and Mount isn't suited to a defensive midfield role. As a result, he found himself playing on the wing towards the latter part of the season. Despite the challenges, there's no denying his immense talent on the pitch. This upcoming pre-season will be crucial for him to regain his form and establish his place in the team. He's still a player to watch. Will he bounce back at United? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more football insights. Thanks for watching.